Hey everyone, it's me Isabella here and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys four tips on how to narrow down your college list because you know senior year is already stressful enough but then having to apply to colleges on top of that is just another level of added stress and we don't need that so these four tips I feel will put you in the right direction on how to successfully narrow down your college list and then successfully apply to the colleges that you want to do. So the first tip is to gather information on like the college that you want to apply to. You want to research, you know, what majors they offer, um, how like dorm life is, like if you need to um, live in a dorm like your freshman year of college or like if you can live at home with your parents um, if you decide to do that. And then you also want to know, um, this is kind of like, this is like its own like separate thing, but I feel like it kind of like loops into this tip um you know financial safety because you want to make sure like the colleges that you apply to that they you know they give you like scholarships you know they offer you the most money and you know with the fast fit too like they offer you money because you want to make sure that you you know have to apply as little as possible for college because college can be very expensive and you don't want to be like in your dream job like in your dream career like out of college and then you're still like paying like student loans off and like you still have, like, debt, because, like, you want to make sure that you're debt-free, and you want to make sure, that, like, if you even get, like, a full ride, like, that'd be great. Like, you just want to make sure that, like, the whatever school you're applying to, that they give you the most amount of scholarship money, or if they give you a full ride. So, that, like, financial safety is, like, its own tip, but I feel like it's also with the gathering information, because you, you need to know, like, how much they like if they offer grants and like different awards and stuff um and scholarships for like sports for like the arts and stuff so i just kind of wanted to add that one in on with this one so yeah so the second tip is go on campus visits because um you know like online like on on colleges websites or like if they send you an email like they're like go on a virtual tour like you can definitely do that like there's nothing wrong against that but like you're just kind of like clicking around like around, like you're just looking at the school like through like the screen like if you're going on an actual campus visit then you can like walk around the campus like see how everything is you can even like sit in on um in the different um in different like classes and you can like like if if none of them are like working like you can meet some professors you can meet students that are currently attending there like ask their opinion on how it is and then if someone's like getting around you can ask them questions so like I feel like when you're actually there, you're able to see everything, and you're also able to, like, make a decision of whether or not, like, you feel comfortable here. Like, if you had accepted here, like, would you feel good, like, walking around campus, like, going to class, you know? You want to make sure to, like, it's all comfortable to you, because you don't want to be going somewhere where, like, I don't like this place. Like, you also have to make sure, like, the size of the campus is good, too, because when, because, like, that's also good with campus visits, because if you go to the campus and you're, like, you this is too small you don't want to go here then you're also to make the judgment off of that or like if it's big and you don't want a big one or if it's actually a bit if it's like a big campus like it covers like a couple acres and you're like oh yes i want this and you're able to kind of like see how that is like through your own eyes like when you're actually there which is good because and then you're also able to see like how the area is around there um you can um because like you can go around the campus but then after you're done like visiting there, you can go around to the surrounding area, like the different shops and stuff they have and see like if that suits you and if it doesn't, then you're able to make a decision on that and cross that one off your list. So I feel like campus visits are very helpful. Plus you can even get more information from the colleges than what they offer like either online or like what they send in the mail because um, you can also sign up for emails from colleges and you can even put your address for them to send you stuff. So I didn't know if you guys knew that. But you can put in your address and your email address and um, the colleges can send you stuff directly to you. You know, through the mail, they can send you application deadlines or they can give you booklets. I received a ton of booklets um, from colleges um, with all the different programs and degrees and like, clubs that they have, which is pretty cool because then I'm able to use this extra information and even narrow down my um, list even more. So I feel like those are very helpful. Now, the third um, tip I have to narrow down your college list is acceptance rates. Now, 
if you want to apply somewhere with a low acceptance rate, like you can. There's like nothing wrong with it. Like I'm actually applying somewhere with a low acceptance rate, but you need to make sure that you're academically qualified to apply there because if you have like subpar subpar um grades and like your SAT score is like isn't that great, then you don't really want to apply somewhere where they're not gonna like accept you. Like they want to have like um students that kind of go above and beyond. Um, now, if you do go above and on, above and beyond, then you can still, you know, apply there. You just want to make sure that, like, the acceptance rate isn't going to, like, scare you, you know? You're like, oh, I don't want to apply here, or, like, oh, I do. Because, um, you just need to make sure, like, the acceptance rate won't affect you when you're applying, and you also need to make sure, like, the acceptance rate that you're comfortable with it. Because if, it, if it's higher, it's, like, then yeah, I'll get in. But if it's lower, like you still, you can still apply, but you just need to make sure that like, if it is lower, then it's a very competitive school. It's probably like an Ivy League school. So you also need that do that too. Like, do I want to go to an Ivy League school? Do I want to go to school for low acceptance rate? Or do I want to go somewhere where, you, you know, it's almost like an Ivy League school, but the acceptance rate's higher. So you need to make sure of that too. And you need to make sure that you're qualified to be able to um, apply there because schools with low acceptance rate, you know, the Ivy League schools and then the SAT and ACT scores that they want, like if they want one or one of the other or both, you need to make sure that, you know, you're qualified for that too because you don't want to apply somewhere and send an application fee and they're not going to accept you. So you can need to make sure like you have all that in line and you have all your um, extracurriculars and your volunteer service down. You know, you, may, you need to make sure that you stand out to them. So you need to make sure that the acceptance rate won't like stress you out even more so like just like you need to make sure that you're all good to go and yeah so the last and final tip um which i mentioned earlier was financial safety you need to make sure that um where you're going like oh my gosh i already just said this already sorry i just want to say it again because you need to make sure that where you're going like um that the tuition isn't like really like a lot of money because some of these colleges it's like astronomical amounts of money but like you can still apply places that charge a lot for tuition and then see where you what you get from like scholarships and fafsa but then you need to make sure that like, it's you're not going to be drowning in debt when you're done like going there so you just make sure that you're in a comfortable position where like you can still pay for it but it's not like where you're paying every like you have like no money left over so you need to make sure that you're getting all the money that you can in order to be successful and then graduate there with, you know, the major of your choice. Um, so yeah, that was all the tips I had, I have for you guys. Um, I feel these tips really helped me out, you know, especially gathering more information and, um, going on college visits because you're able to see, you know, the whole college, the whole campus, like in your point of view. So I hope that these tips help you out and, you know, narrowing down your own college list and, you know, to make sure that you apply to colleges that you want to apply and make sure that, you know, you apply to them on time because a lot of um, the colleges, a lot of them have deadlines that are coming up or like if they are coming up and it's next year, so you want to make sure that you get them in by the deadline and make sure that all the fees are paid for that. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.